They're somewhere out here. They gotta be. I mean, two kids just don't go missing. But first, you there's know, renewed interest tonight in the search for two boys who disappeared back in the 1980s. Some YouTubers are sharing their resources try to, to try to help the family of a teen who disappeared back in 1985 along with his friend. Yeah, they never came back from a day trip to East Kenyon Reservoir. New specialist Mike Anderson is there live for us. And Mike, how are these social media stars hoping to help out? Well, guys, you know, there are a team of uh, divers who have helped families find long lost loved ones all over the country. Uh, they came out here from Oregon after hearing the pleas of one woman who lost her brother 36 years ago. A day trip to the lake turned to decades of wandering. He never made it home. Him and one of his friends. Thunder Alexander was only seven years old when her 14-year-old brother, Michael Lloyd Reese, disappeared along with his friend, David Jaramillo. For two days, a team of searchers have been trying to help. I'm very grateful for it and thankful. Jared Lysak, along with a group of friends, started the YouTube channel Adventures with a Purpose in 2018. They started with smaller things that went missing in the water, which led to accidentally finding a car. One car turned into 25, you know, 25 turned into 100, and families started seeing that we had this ability to find, locate, and float vehicles. And at times, the bodies of missing loved ones would be inside too. But while Lysak and his team did find a car today, it's not what they were hoping for. It turned out to be a 4Runner and not a Datsun B210 that we were looking for. We uh, spent yesterday doing sonar on the entire lake for any road that was next to the water, and this is the only vehicle that we were able to identify. Alexander is not getting the answers she's looking for today. I'm not giving up. Um, I'm going to continue looking. But this find was completely unexpected. The Morgan County Sheriff's Office now looking into who the owner was. The discovery could help someone else. Even though they're not in the water, they're somewhere. And the, I want closure, so the only way to do that is to find them. And the team is working to bring up uh, the rest of the car out of the water right now. Uh, Lysak says they may not be done here in Utah, adding that they'll take a look at the rest of the path the boys would have taken home and to see what they can find there, possibly tomorrow. Back to you guys. Yeah, you never know what they can find there. Pretty impressive what they're doing, though. Mike, thank you.